about like why you joined the why you were a Democrat and then you turned from a Democrat into Republican? The government programs they they start off with the best of intentions, but what the Democrats really hope to do is buy votes in return for bread. And that bread portion is meager and that bread portion is rancid. It's not going to be as good as the bread you can buy or make yourself. Mm. And you're sacrificing a good deal of your dignity for a crust of bread. Mm. And what happens when, you know, we run the bakers all out of business? Mm -hmm. You know, you can't give somebody a crust of bread if there's no bakers in town. Mm -hmm. And I fear that if everybody's on the system or in the system, you know, connected to it somehow, some way, which is kind of what I think, um, you know, certainly in the case of LBJ, those government programs that we call entitlements, they were so expansive. I believe it was a way to keep the Democrats in power in perpetuity mm -hmm. through using, you know, the levers of, oh, you want free stuff. Why I went from being a moderately liberal Democrat to a conservative Republican? Because uh, the older I get, the more conservative I get. I think that's just life. Mm -hmm. I don't think a whole lot of people that have been to war are liberal Democrats. I don't think a lot of people that have been in jail are liberal Democrats. Why is that? They see a darker side of human nature. You can't take ISIS by the hand, give him a jobs program, or help him get in touch with his inner child and expect everything to just be okay. How you feel that maybe people are entitled, they feel like they're entitled to handouts, it's, it's disabling them rather than empowering them. It's making them, it's making them comfortable in their own disability rather than helping them see what they can do, in a nutshell. The key is to know what you can do rather than what you can't. Actually does have to work hard for your rewards and mm -hmm. you certainly are not someone who just is enabled by the system. Right. Um, I don't want to brag too much because I don't want people to think I'm tearing other people down. But it's, yeah, but it's just knowing what you can do. Like in my case, I have a voice. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I try to use that voice. I'm there, for whatever reason, God gave me a preacher's voice that people want to listen. Hopefully, you know, if there's anybody watching this video, hopefully they'll be like, yeah, we like what you say. I know I'll get some haters, but the point is I have the ability to communicate whether you love what I say, whether you hate what I say. That is a skill. Develop a saleable skill. Everybody's got one. It may not be this wonderful, sexy voice. You know, it may be something else. Even if you're mute, you know, like there are people that do, because I'm, I'm familiar with the psychic industry. Um, there are people that do text chat. There's people that could text like a mile a minute. They might not even be able to speak, but they can text. They can use these fingers. They can use these thumbs. Everybody okay. can do something, even if it's not full time. And how does that relate more to like the conservative party rather than the Democrat uh, party? It's about not having a love affair with your disability and what you can't do. The point, is, kind of funny. the point is that I think the Democrats were trying to buy votes, but mm -hmm. what cost is that vote? What cost is that? Does that mm -hmm. come at the expense of your dignity? your self-worth as an individual. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you got to believe that achieving something is possible. <sighs> when you, you're given something just so readily without having to work for it, you tend to become, it, it tends to disable you rather than, than empower you, right? Yeah, no pun intended. It does disable. Yeah. And the disabled have been disabled already. Yep. And, 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 and that's why I see myself as empowering those people that I connect with. Because mm -hmm. I feel that I'm blessed to bless others. And I do try to bless others. And some people think that, oh, you know, you're just trying to come off and look like a big shot. I don't think so. I think if I do this, other people can too. I think we all could be big shots. Can't we all be big shots in our own little world? Rather than be beggars, you know. Can I have a crust of bread? This truly is why I choose to 
do as much for myself as I can and metaphorically and literally wipe my own ass. This is why. <laughs>